So we just hit the first day of summer here on the Saskatchewan prairies. And as you can see, the lettuces and greens are at their best right now. These containers are just bursting with all sorts of lettuces and some spinach. We got beets, we got carrots. So tomorrow we're having a family picnic and potluck supper. And when I was asked what I wanted to bring, I said, I will be bringing salad. So I'm gonna try picking a whole bunch here tonight. We're gonna to get it all cleaned up and show you uh, an easy salad recipe that I'm gonna to put together. So my spinach is pretty much gone to seed. It's bolted. So what I have left here mostly is just some leafy green lettuce. I got some romaine and some different kinds of uh, kind of a head lettuce that's doing really well. As you can see, I pretty much overplanted and overseeded these a little bit, but we just chop them out and some of it will grow back. It works pretty good as a cut and come again method, but. I'll just go in here and take out a whole bunch. So this is kind of the leafy stuff here. Probably another week or two and these lettuces will probably start bolting or going to seed. It's going to get pretty warm. So I'm going to try and harvest as much as I can over the next couple weeks and if you wash it and dry it really well and store it properly it will last quite a while in your fridge this is my first time growing uh head lettuce i guess you call it i've never grown it before i should leave it though because it's trying to head out but i've been coming in here and chopping it out but it yeah it's starting to form some nice little heads it's nice and crunchy really like this kind of lettuce I was really disappointed with my arugula this year because it looks like it's been attacked by some kind of bugs. As you can see, all the leaves got little tiny holes in it. I don't know if that is makes them unsafe to eat, but I didn't think it would be very appealing to put it in salad that I'm taking to a party. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you still eat your, your lettuces even if they have been, uh, you know, attacked by some kind of bug? I'm going to try just chopping it all down again and let it grow back and maybe we can uh, deter some of those bugs with some some de earth or something some kind of powder over top of it so over here is my romaine and it's starting to form some really nice stalks here so i've been just kind of trying to harvest the outside leaves and just doing a cut and come again method I think I'm just going to cut some of these right off at the bottom just to thin it out a little bit in here. So you can see I got some beautiful beets coming here. So I think I'm just going to pick a few of those, these beet leaves as well just to add some nice color to the salad. All right, this is everything we've harvested. Let's go inside, wash it up and get ready to make our salad. So we are ready to get things washed up for our garden salad here and in addition to my lettuces i've also picked some greens from my onions here i got some basil i got a couple kinds of parsley so we're going to chop up a little bit of that also into our garden salad first of all we're going to give it a good washing and a spinning here in my salad spinner So after everything's been thoroughly washed and spun out in the salad spinner, I like to just spread out my lettuce on some reusable paper towel or just regular paper towel. 
And if I'm not going to be eating it right away, I will just roll it up inside this towel and put it in the fridge. And it will last and stay pretty fresh in there for, you know, a good week or so. So we're only going to be adding three ingredients to this salad. Super simple. And those three ingredients are going to be some Greek feta, some chopped up raw walnuts, and some freshly sliced strawberries. So this is going to be a combination of sweet, creamy, salty, and some crunch. Just going to be delicious. And after we get these all prepped, then we can put together a super simple dressing. And for the dressing on this salad, it is going to be just simply a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, the juice of one lemon, and some fresh ground pepper. You can also add in some salt, but I am going to omit that since the feta gives it a little bit of salty flavor already. What's in it? Oil and lemon and pepper. Yeah. Oh, just yum. And what did you put in? Okay. Should I save the rest for? Good. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. try that. Give it a little toss. All and right. See what happens. It's got. Oh, uh, it looks so good. Cheese, strawberries, and um, lettuce from walnuts. your garden. Lettuce from the garden. Mm. 